Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of the Council of Reeds here at the comic shop in Liverpool. I'm Dylan, here with Jason. G'day! Nitten! What's up? Fummy! Hey, hey! And Dave. I got snacks and because I'm not co- overcompensating. That's a very large bottle. I oh, know. I've seen bigger. <laughs> it's 1.8 litres. It's, it's just how if you know how to use it. Is <laughs> Skill issue. Well, I think I'm good. Yeah, Golden Game Time popcorn and uh, thanks, Captain Obvious. Original plays. Oh, more teasers taste good too. What a oh, shot! That's great. <laughs> Play your cards, guys. Right? I've got dog. another treat for you. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Oh, mm. I don't know. I can't wait. Um, our featured comic books this week: Devil's Cut. Issue Look one. at the size of this big boy. You me? <laughs> <laughs> and um. Plot holes issue well, one. I was going to say, but I <laughs> stopped myself just in time. And to, and to say it to me just now. Yeah. Plot holes yes. issue one. Ah, oh, there's a microphone. <laughs> Dylan's really good at cutting stuff out if you need that. <laughs> just just yeah. ask him. Like, if you want to make yeah. it to the rest of the world, you're less racist. Oh my god. Um, help out. This is a wholesome show. I'm crying. Um, <laughs> one Piece. Episode one? Yeah. You guys watch mm, most of you I am not hate watching this anymore. Wow. As I expected yeah. I would. Yes. Um Star Wars Ahsoka, episode three. Mm. Yeah, it's okay. And Weaker than the first one, I thought though. It was shorter. It was good. <laughs> My film flashback was supposed to be Atom Man versus <laughs> Superman. But, but and then we realised that. But if we started that last Sunday after the podcast, yeah. we'd still be watching it. Yeah. Trying to say? Yeah, um it was like over four hours <laughs> long. All in one go. I just assumed that it wouldn't be four hours. Instead, you gave us a movie that went for an hour that felt like four hours. <laughs> That's right. I uh, uh, ended up swapping it to Superman and the Mole Man. Moleman. Moleman. Oh, I thought it was weird looking children, but okay. Uh, yeah, Moleman. 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 Mm. Synonym. Um, all right. I didn't see the Fantastic Four anyway. Just yeah, where's Hans? Okay, uh, comic oh. books, comic books. Alrighty, so we've got <coughs> Distillery is the new company, uh, creator owned. Uh, Devil's Cut is their big fat one shot. Um, <laughs> massive superstar creators. This has got like, must be like 10, 12 stories in here. I don't know, it's a ton of stuff. They're all little four, six pages max yeah. stories. They're all good, but not it's... too many blew me away. So these are all going to be books? I, I assumed beforehand that was the case. Mm-hmm. After reading it, no way. Okay. Yeah. No way. Not any of them. No, some of them, are, yes, potentially. I read the first two. It's just the format is you went, hard. You did 10 you, pages. Well done, yeah. Dave. Woo! But, like, you read hey, that's half a comic book. Anyway. Um, not much to be proud of. It's half to readjust your mind to go from one story to the next and go. No, because we're in short here to get invested into it, and then all of a sudden it ends. Because you didn't like, read Marvel yeah. Age, you're going to be really fucking shitting yourself. No, there. I didn't read that. Good. Um, oh my god! Can you? I, I will say, say, I will say. Plus, some of them wasn't. I like was the okay going from story to story. <laughs> but what I did feel, because it is a, it is a chunky book. Yes, it is. I did feel like <laughs> many things never going to end. Lying. Oh, okay. Never going to end. It just goes on. Yeah. And not in a because. Like the story, it's only six pages max. Uh, but there were some cool ones. Some people don't handle two of them, okay? Mm. I thought maybe the Snyder one. Uh, oh, I thought I'm talking to you, you read two stories. Uh, the Snyder <laughs> and Frankie Villa one was pretty good. Um, there was some really cool one. The one with the freaky Joel Jones artwork, that was good. That's um, cool art. The Jump sure one went, was good. I should have read it backwards. Wano <laughs> Rizzo, that's cool. It's awesome. Look, I was a bit disappointed. Oh, really? Looks, looks too though. pretty. do not look like Rizzo enough. Oh, okay. Where's his painted rubbish, Rizzo? Where's me shadows, man? Shadows. But that was alright for me. But they're all weird. Like, yeah. I don't know. I, not quite. Because before it came out, that's what I assumed it was going to be previews to yeah. the upcoming books. But I don't think it can be. Yeah. That was one of the better ones. It was very much like a ghoul. Yeah. It was like, there was like a dude stuck on a boat and. Yeah. Is the Ram V one good? Which one's the Ram V one again? Taking a pill and time. Oh, that was just weird. I don't know what the hell's going on. There's like a solar flare. Gonna. Uh, that was weird. No, a lot no, of them were no, a bit weird. More boobies. I should have went backwards. Butt bucks. Yeah, you really should have went for the back four. Mm. Uh, but it, it was good. Got a good 
writers and good art, but um, yeah, it was just weird. It's hard to it's hard to talk about because it's fifty stories, <laughs> and they're all just like little snippety things and. It's like you're getting your money's worth. Don't you get oh, money for sure. Like, like, unless like that many stories confuses you. Yes, yes, yes. Yes. Uh, <laughs> you know, usually when you get uh, Black Label sort of album size aside, when you usually get one of these one shots with tons of stories and they're fat, like Marvel Age. Uh, but Marvel Age was good too, so. They came um, out because I made fun of Dave. They usually... Keep doing that. I feel gypped at the price, but I did not feel gypped at all no. at the $10 US price tag on this because it's... The size of a trade paperback. Mm-hmm. Marvel would sell that trade paperback for twenty four ninety five US. And you never get that size either. No, no God no. Uh, yeah, it, if you like anthologies, definitely check it out. Unlike Dave, you would like it. Yes. Uh, next up, plot holes. Man, Sean Murphy. Okay, Dave, please explain this book to people. Oh, it's going to be hard. What are you doing this to me? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, basically, it's a team that goes into, like, a book, its actual world inside, and fixes it yep. for the artist to immediately, like, to save the book, essentially. Yep. So... So, what, a, 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 a finished book? Or is that it's a, a finished un- book. Un- unpublished. Generally. Right. Yeah. Well, that make, okay, that makes and sense. And what happens is it appears on a bookshelf for this team every week, like a few, a bunch of them. And they got, jump in each one. Well, they select and they jump in whatever ones they want to. Yeah, choose their, some of choose them, their adventure essentially. Yeah, yeah, some of them can't be saved, obviously. Like, so what they're going to save to finish the book so it can go out and be published. No, so I think they're going to like, the edit it. Right? Yeah, edit it. Yeah, basically, yeah, edit it. Yeah. Make it better. Yeah. Yeah. But some, yeah, some are instantly nah, This is crap. Like <laughs> one of them. One of them <laughs> is basically, oh, he wrote the wrong car in the or yeah, biography. Yeah, yeah. So they've frozen time or whatever. So they've well, no, just, like yeah, Nazis yeah. Are in France too early, and it's like if they can't even get facts right, not worth it. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I like it. But one of them's like, oh, they swapped the car because he wrote a Datsun instead yeah, of yeah, uh, yeah. whatever. Wow. It was very like weird but good. Like, yeah, like at first, yeah. you're like, what's going? Because like yeah, the team it, is it very odd. Like the main chicks, Ed, Ed edit for editor. Yeah. She's like a old lady sort of thing. Not old lady, but, you know, middle-aged lady. Um, and then there's like a shape, sh- shape-shifting tiger. Like, yeah. And then like a little boy-looking guy that's actually a 100-year-old man. And there's Johnny Manga. Johnny Manga. Johnny Manga. Uh, you know, who is like the most uh, <laughs> stereotypical anime manga sort of character ever sort of thing. Like... He fights pilots. Well, he's the Met Cadet style. His master was actually the pilot, but he got died, so he had to fill up. And they, they pilot mechs that are piloted by samurais that drive drifting cars. I don't know how that works, yeah. but it's the most ridiculous thing I've ever seen. I love the, the, the artist designer sketches at the back for Johnny Manga. It's just his face. It's just got goggles, elf ears, big eyes, and yeah. hero mm-hmm. scarf. Nailed it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, it's like. And Cal- oh. Kevin from Calvin and Hobbes? Yes. Essentially? Even Calvin Hobbes. The Calvin Hobbes sticker. Where he's peeing on things. Yeah. Because <laughs> they recruit a new guy. Yeah, because one um, of them... Gets whacked yeah. or whatever, right? But yeah, they recruit a new guy. The guy in the front with the Punisher shirt. And like, he's a character from a book, but and he has to find out that's the deal. And that you're just a character or whatever. But his character is that he's... Uh, he's a writer. I want to be comic book writer. Yeah. So and it gets very yeah out there. So who's because I saw at the back there. There's what's his name? Surge, Scourge. Surge, Surge. is one of their crew. Oh, okay, yep. so he's not a bad guy. No. Okay, looks just looks like the way that yes. he's designed. Yeah. Like I that. think well because I'm just wondering is there a big he like, gets messed up. Their plan is to fix these books. Is there a big bad? Yeah, I think yeah. So. There. Yep. We just haven't seen yes, that because yes, the first yes. issue. Nice. Because like great. what I'm starts right. going wrong is. Um, Bookworms, like these alien worm creature things, of course. Um, they have started coming into other books that that should not be allowed. They're the only ones who should be going through things, and like when they they check, it's like they, they call it bookmarking, and it's like it's very man book stuff. Yeah. But yeah, it's, it was out there, but <laughs> really good. First few pages, I was like, I don't know, this is a bit all over the shop. But by the end, you're like, okay, I, I understand the layout. And Give it back now. It's definitely worth a look. 
Oh no, he's Batman stuff. And so some slight racism there. Mm. <laughs> Bonus. <laughs> that is pretty funny. Yeah. Um, next up, another monster of a comic book this week. Marvel Age 1000. Okay, so obviously Marvel, we know what they're like. Two years ago, you had the 60th anniversary of Marvel Comics 1000. Last year was 60th anniversary of Amazing Fantasy 1000. This year, giving up all pretense and just Marvel Age! Um, probably 10, 12 short stories, whatever it is. All good. All good. Now, yeah, yeah. for all that all being good. said, yeah. because, like, who needs a real reason to bring out a book? Thank you for this book. Yeah, no, it was great. Holy mm. moly. Um, From the get go. Yeah, fantastic. That first Human Torch, like uh, Android just, Human just Torch. Wade back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How long is it since we've been able to get a good Wade Marvel story? It's long been time. a long time. Long I've been time. jealous because all you've been doing is talking up Wade over in DC. Yeah. And the last Wade we got in Marvel with freaking champions. Yeah, no, that was fantastic. Nice little Spidey story. Mm -hmm. Jeez, that was beautifully drawn. Ah, oh, Stegman. Oh, Stegman, yeah, that's Stegman. that Stegman's great. Mary Jane at the end. Yes. Too. So sexy. Um... I thought I was probably going to skip the X Men one. It was that really was good. good. I really yeah, liked it. Yeah, that was really good. The art sort of so suited the Absolutely. story. I liked the art. Um, yeah, that was great. Yeah, no, I agreed. Agreed. Uh, I really liked it. Um, Captain Marvel, but all red. Red. yeah, all red was standing oh, slow. Especially that one, the splash page. Oh, yes. Supreme Intelligence is talking. Yes. Did you see that, Dave? No. Show that page. That page. Yes. Oh wow. Yeah. All red. All red. All red. Um, yeah, that was fantastic. They worked together well mm. from their fantastic Silver Surface stuff. Um, Daredevil story was cool. That was really cool. Yeah. Yeah. Like, a nice spin at where his tinnitus goes off crazy when mm. he's no one, he knows someone's lying. Yeah. That is a uh, nice little spin. It's worth a, if yeah. you haven't read that, it's worth a flick for those ten pages. It's and, like, really not cool. just even back, like, you know, he's talking to Foggy. Foggy's like, don't worry, everything will be fine. Rah! Oh, okay. Yeah, it was, it was really good. Mm. And the doctor's saying, you know, it's something you just have to live with. He's like, yeah. I can't live with this shit. This is ridiculous. But the way he finds a way is it, very cool. And then maybe the maybe the story of the book, the Steve McNiven Silver Surfer. Mm, that Ooh. was the last one. Whew, that was fantastic. Can I just... Yes. The art is very Mobius. Very, very, very. So it's Noran Rad, Silver Surfer, floating over a... Battlefield. Battlefield, just after the destruction. And it's him and Mephisto having a conversation about life and death and hope and struggle. And Mephisto's just got this little bit... <clears throat> and he, and Noran's talking about the human race and the hope and stuff like that. And Mephisto just comes back. You must see there is no... There's no hope writ in Fortune's book. Leave these earthlings to march along their path. It is vanity to think you can help them. Their strong lines of malice push the internal compass of the earthlings in one direction. Oblivion. All right, that is some deep, dark shit. And like you said, the the art that goes with it... Fantastic. It's just the, the panelling... Very uh, un-Steve McNiven. Like. Yes. And like... Straight away, as soon as you see it, you're like, oh, okay, it's maybe a Silver Surfer mm. parable. And not just the pencil of Silver Surfer in that way, but the panelling. Yeah. The, the dialogue, like, it's somebody who loves themselves. Um, it's like, we'll just do that, thanks. <laughs> and then, the, yeah, the comeback of, you know, I'm not going to get into it, but yeah, yeah. This Surfer's comeback is phenomenal. Yes. Phenomenal. Fantastic. Um, and then we've got a. Jason Aaron, sort of Thor related y Jane Foster related. Sound? Should we just stop now? No, no, now? it's just Dave, don't worry about it. Oh, cool. Uh, yeah, nice little Jason Aaron, Thor, people, superhero stuff. It was alright. Mm. Uh, maybe one of the weaker ones, but yeah, not bad, yeah, right? Yeah. Just, but, it was. Um, so least, especially where it was in between. Yes, 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 yes. It was two of the best stories that was in between. Yeah, and then the other is like. Curry Andrews. Doing the kids. The yeah. three kids talking about creation and what they can see and it's yeah stan steve and jack it was yeah nice little yeah yeah i shed a tear over that one i'll be honest that was awesome yeah that was really really the, cool. the book, oh, oh, oh all in all it was maybe the best of these sort of marvel anthology mm. special scam books that i've ever seen and like, especially for one that wasn't giving us future shit yeah this is just stories mm. um that first Torch story, man, the yeah. way he was learning the, the serials and then wanting to speak to the detective. Yeah, goes to the cop shop looking oh, for him and they, they laugh at him. At him and mm. shit. That was just... Yeah, fantastic. Mark Wade, man. Good writing. Bloody good writing. Yeah, no, that was... 
If it wasn't for Hulk, man, that's almost book of the week. Right? Yeah. Fucking Hulk. Um. Yeah, I think the Human Torch one might have been my favorite. Yeah. Well, no, it wasn't my favorite, but it was very. It was yeah, a I think beautiful it might have been way my to start. That art was phenomenal too. Yeah. Below, uh, no, um, Cap Cap Cappuccino. Yeah. Cappuccino. Yeah. Yeah. Whatever. Yeah. Sort of like Ch Chichino. Chichino. No. No. Cappuccino. No, another close Cappuccino. No, Cappuccino. 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 Yeah, that's probably. it. Yeah. All right, next up, Dylan. Did you read this one? Action Comics Doomsday Special. I did not. Nah, you, you didn't say that. Um, it was alright. Yeah, I didn't mind it. Yeah. I, I, I liked it actually. Yeah. So it, it's it it um, follows on from the Lazarus Day Special where Doomsday sort of starts reanimating from the memories of Metropolis mm. and um, a manhunter and a random citizen sort of set him down to you find out hell. Yes. And he is. Giving hope to the people in hell. Yes. Why he's killing shit and he's gonna like break through the barrier of hell into our world yeah. and have everybody. So he's Saddam Hussein from the South Park movie. Yes. Right. Yeah. And so, um, Supergirl and Manhunter go to hell, sort of brought there by the devil. Yeah. Wow. To stop Doomsday. Because Doomsday's gonna take over. Well, they're calling him King Doomsday. That's awesome. I've yeah. gotta buy this. Yeah. It's great. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's great. It looked too good. Eddie. Eddie Barrows? Yes. Yeah. And this yeah, is this is leading artist, up to really? bringing Doomsday back into the Superman books. Yeah. Oh, sick. Yeah. Yeah, that's a great page. Yeah. Yeah. Now, I, I love Bar Barrows, mm -hmm. but dude, he hasn't been around a lot yeah. lately. Which is a bit of a shame, because the dude is fantastic. Yeah. Um, and you, get, you get some Bloodwind stuff in here. Yeah, right? yeah so the backup story it's is the kid that died helping Manhattan to kill Doomsday, he's in hell. He's sort of the new Bloodwind now. Cool. Whoa. Yeah. Who's this chick? It's a Supergirl. That's Supergirl. Wearing Devil's armor. Yeah. Yeah, it looks like Dracula's armor. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I saw that. It was cool. Yeah. Oh, uh, yes. Yeah. And, yeah, that's cool we got a new Bloodwind because I like the character Bloodwind, even though, you know. He was just Manhunter. He was just Manhunter. Manhunter man 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 left yes. for a while, came back because yes. he was Bloodwind. But it was cool. Yeah. No. I, I, I like Bloodwind's costume a lot. Yeah. So I'm glad. He does look really cool. Yeah. The um, name's really cool. The blood, it is a cool name as yeah. well. Yeah, for sure. Um, no, uh, overall. Is that him? Yeah. Oh, wow. Like Very old school. Yeah. It's just Danny Venom. It was before Benny Venom. With a spawn mask. A reverse spawn mask. <laughs> I think the spawn... Uh... Ooh, no. He filed his teeth too. Nice. Did he was spawn out when Superman died? I think so. Yes. Yeah, then probably Because that was like mid-90s. Yeah, yeah. it definitely yeah. helps. Like, it's... Yeah. Yeah, very cool. 90s. Yeah, cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Interesting. Yeah, it's a good, good, good one-shot, and I think, yeah, will mm. be interesting where they pick him up in yeah. Supes and yeah. Action. Oh, yeah, you haven't seen him since Superman died. Oh, wow. Yeah. Because he was Manhunter, and after he Superman was died... Manhunter disguising himself as... Bloodwind. Bloodwind. A new hero called Bloodwind. Yeah. To fill the gap. <laughs> Sorry, and when you said he was just calling, I just didn't realize uh, that. No, no, no. Oh, wow. Yeah. That's pretty cool. Well, you can do that when you shape shift, can't you? Mm. So, sort of like a Thunderbolts, original Thunderbolts, you know, filling in when the Avengers went. Yeah, so, that, yeah. but obviously not being a bad guy. <laughs> Spoilers. <laughs> yes. <laughs> uh, next up, Miss Marvel, the new mutant. Oh, how he missed you. <laughs> uh, this one is written by Iman Roten. Vellani. And co-written by, I think, one of the show writers. Hey, Obviously, Amar Vellani is the uh, the actress that plays Kamala Khan on the Marvel MCU stuff. Um, this was not bad. Uh, I thought this was actually pretty good. A bit wordy. You can tell, not... Uh, I don't know. Not regular comic book writers. Not... You know, like, a bit overwritten, yeah, a bit yeah. wordy, and a bit... Uh, you know, like, and they all do that. Yeah. Oh my god. But Kevin Smith's first comic books were fantastic, but goddamn, that first issue of Daredevil was like reading the Bible, man. Like, it just. Yeah, but he, that's come everything on. that he writes. Yeah, that's, no, that's not a great example. That's a bad yeah, 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 yeah. No, but by the end of the arc, he had yeah, reined yeah, yeah, yeah. in massively, because <laughs> the pictures tell the story sometimes. But so it's. That's not how he works. Um, she's, he makes movies. Obviously, she's been brought back to life talk. after dying in Spider Man. She's a mutant now. She's going undercover at uni. She's still in high school, but she's doing like a summer course at like a uni. The summer course is run or funded by AUKUS or whatever they're called. Yeah. 
You got it right. Yeah. <laughs> I practiced. Um, <laughs> look at yourself in the mirror. Yes. Walk. Yes. Walk. Um, but it's all just her, you know, coming to terms with being a mutant and telling a friend and everyone, because er, like, everyone in the MCU is very anti-mutant again now, right? Like, it's like the old days. Yeah. So, like, people say, oh, my God, I can't believe there's a filthy mutant at our school. And you know what I mean? Like, the general public go, oh, man, mutant bad. Oh, it should be. Yeah. Um... But it was not bad, not bad. Even though it's it's Miss Marvel. Yeah. Yeah. Because she's a mutant. Ah, oh, she's really a mutant. Because she's, yeah. she's got the X Men uniform on. Right. It's a bit stupid if you're going undercover and no one knows you're a mutant. Maybe you don't put the X belt on. And a big X on your, on your yes, shoulder. Yes, you know. And the sandwich board says I'm a mutant. Yes, yes. Uh, but it was not bad, not bad. Dead mutant storage. I think the girl's good. She she gets a deal. I seen last weekend she cosplayed as Jubilee at some point. Yeah, I saw she was at this week. I seen photos. She was at her comic shop that I she used to it. buy books at, sign and copies. <laughs> nice. I'm like, yeah, she's she's cool. So I'm down for that. Do you see what she's uh, she's having nightmares. And she, yeah, what's that? Yeah, she's having nightmares. Oh, that was a nightmare, was it? Was yeah. That Doctor Strange. Surfer yeah, and she's Doctor Doctor Strange Silver Surfer chick coming to fight her. Yeah, you know, like, <laughs> what's well. going on? Which is all she's got. Like the first nightmare's got like you got to pick, and the art was excellent for this actually. Oh, it's Gomez. Underrated, man. Mm. Was, was there a few? Yes, artists? yes. Because in this, like, it's yeah, in her dream, uh, Captain Marvel is like, ah, oh, you got to pick which team you want to join us. Dad, do you want to go champions? And like, she's getting choked, and it's like, ah, oh, you're crushing me. And like, oh, I guess not. And like, all the, the champions are like, no, oh, she doesn't want to pick us. And whatever. But it's just nice little artwork touches. It was good. I liked it. Next up, how was this knitting? Real good. You know, Local man gold. Local man gold. So With, uh, the death mate homage. Yeah. So it's a. Oh, I didn't even look. Like at the it. backup story is a another crossover event that happens. And uh, look, uh, Crossjack got um, time travelled away. And the main story is he's being uh, sent to the police station to. Well, the chief, the chief has asked him to come down to the police station, and young Crossjack is in police custody. <laughs> Excellent. And then get, you know gets released into his cust in, into his um. Excellent. Oh, good. Oh, Yeah, into his um. I guess responsibility, and he goes outside, and you got other displaced heroes as well. Fire, uh, fire, fire. What's his name? Breather. Fire breather. Someone from Dino Five. You got Striker. You got a few others. Battle Pope. Battle Pope. Battle Pope. Battle Pope. Bullshit. He was the one that's leading. Not that like shit. you only see him in like. Yeah, it's like this large yeah, yeah. This yeah. Um, big double big page yeah. action. Yeah, big spread. But it's like you know a bunch of crossovers, and you got the Love Everlasting chick in that, there as well. And then you've got some like Golden Age characters on the right. Yeah. 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 Well, those are like the public domain ones. Yeah. 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 Holy moly. Yeah, it was real good. It's just like a little in story, but. Little offshoot. It, it clearly, so the cool. idea is uh, put a one shot out and get people to taste. Mm. This is the type of wackiness, nostalginess we're doing. I just got like a, it. Jump on the next arc. Cool stuff between him, the older cross track, and younger yeah. cross track, and cool. how much he hates younger cross track. Because you know, young, uh, younger cross track is like, oh, I'm fucking, I'll become an asshole, blah blah blah. And he's like, you, this is you, you, you don't fucking learn anything. You never said your mom flowers for fucking Mother's Day. <laughs> That's great. Wow. Yeah. Logan just continues to be good. Fuck Cross Jack. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck Cross Jack. And the Uber Bill he gets at the end. <laughs> hey? There's an Uber Bill at the end. Like, ah, something how much it is. Because they just took the dude's car to go cross car state <laughs> state lines to find the Everlast. <laughs> Love Everlast. Jesus Christ. Cheap. Yeah. That's a big To be thing. fair, they like, uh, kicked him out of the car. No, that's right. They stole his car. Yeah, they stole it, so... Oh. Fantastic, fantastic. All right, next up, Moon Knight Annual. It's part of the Contest of Chaos, which is sort of a somewhat of a storyline running across the annuals. This actually is written by McKay. Most of these annuals have not been written by their proper writers. It was okay. It was the most disappointing McKay Moon Knight issue I think I ever read. Uh, because it is what it is. It's just this annual stuff. It was some cool bits. Um, so he's got to fight one of the guys from like Tiger Division. Because Agatha Harkness, that's what she's making these do. And like, he turns into Captain America Moon Knight. 
Okay. Because he's... Don't try and pretend it was good. Captain Crescent. <laughs> uh, and then he like a zombie mummy Moon Knight. Okay. Um, and then this cool god Moon Knight. Is he like fucking Ben 10 or some shit? Uh, I think it's... <laughs> oh, it's these stupid fucking crystals that are doing yeah. this waste oh. of time. 22 pages of shit Marvel. <laughs> I'm not blaming the retailers because they do not know what they're getting. But Marvel Comics, you know what you are producing... And to say that this is a Moon Knight annual and not just some other contest of... Bullshit! <laughs> Wasted my money on this trash. And that's what he wanted to say but didn't. Nah, nah. <laughs> Come on, man. This hurts. And the fact that McKay wrote it is more hurtful because that made me pick it up. 100%. But that's and what then it's do. got nothing. They're fighting. They He's like, annuals. I've had the power of everything. I don't want it. I'll walk away and you take it. I wish I'd walked away from picking up this book. Yeah, that, that's what they've been doing for annuals for years there. No, they haven't. There's been some good annuals uh, recently. Fucking annoying, man. It was such... Anyway, oh, it's only going to get better with the next book. Oh, yeah, I didn't bother with this. Um, next up, Death of Venom Burst, issue three. Let's hear about it then. Carnage does things that people don't want them to do, like kill them. Absorbing people, and then maybe they explode out of his back. And maybe they think he's dead, but we know he's not. Is that a Valkyrie venom? It's Valkyrie that is Flash's daughter. Okay. Of course. In a certain thing. Okay. And then Flash gets killed in front of her, which was excellent. Um, yeah, it's dumb. Go in the next book, please. Fair enough. <laughs> Our next book is Excellence. Yes. Oh, I didn't get that. Um, oh, bro. Ultimate Invasion wow. Issue 3 A peek behind the veil right. You just got a table to the big You got a bit of seat to the big table Mr. Stark yeah, it was Fucking unreal Everything's just a show Just yes. like it is in real it? life Did you read it? No. Oh. I was here for issue 2 so I couldn't read it while you were talking about it Fuck So Did I read issue 2? So, Mr. Stark comes back from a meeting from Latveria with all the other heads of different territories. We get some nice Hickman white pages back. We get some nice Hickman uh, maps with dots telling you what the, the mainlands are. and the, the, the dots and the colouring were not good. No, that was clear great. Enough, I no, think. that were excellent. I'm, not, I'm like, which one are we? Yeah, put your fucking glasses on that you prescribed five that, years that, ago. That, that, that don't make... <coughs> Now, for if one of good. these two had said colors. that, i got no problems going, I can't define these colours. But the bigger dots and the smaller dots, that was really good of defining nah. the heartlands. You need to wear glasses from... I can see it from here. Yeah. I can tell they're different colours, but I don't know. No, no, I'm with you. colours could have been better. Yeah, that's what I said. More. You're colour blind. You're colour blind. I'm fucking... Yeah, of course. No. I'm yeah. not going to question either of you two. And you... <laughs> should be wearing glasses. Should be wearing glasses, boy. colour better. Makes things it's bigger. Just makes things clearer, not blurry. No, yeah, it's not blurry. I mean, blurry. It just makes things far away, not blurry. Just be better. Yeah, I can see that. It's a skill issue. Yeah. Nah, the colours could have been better. Seats of power. Looks like there's only one. Well, it's just the larger circles opposed to yeah, smaller circles. Yeah, yeah. And, then, oh, and, two, and then the colours. Seven of them, dude. Yes. That I can't fucking. I can't mention. Yeah, no one's Brady questioning or yet. shocked and falling off their chairs about that bit. <laughs> so I did like the un. Clearly, the uh, un, unfound or unwhatever territory yes. is clearly yes. Wakanda. Yes. It's just the black one. <laughs> so, at the moment in this world, the Rasputins are the bad people, and mm. they're in this. When they all meet up together, they're all there. And Mr. Stark was there because Stains now died, and he would never be like the front of house of finding out what happened in these big meetings. So he's like, well, they're the bad guys. It's like, nah, it's just their turn. It just goes around in a cycle. They'll be generation. generational. And it's like, oh, okay, so that's just essentially our world's been run cool. Um, but that's not true. No. We've well, only had like about three different bad guys in the last hundred years. <laughs> yes, we're not And they and come back. Yeah. They come back. Well, they need sequels. Yeah. They know how all yeah. sequels work. Um, so yeah, it's a... a a view behind the veil of everything that really goes on on how the world turns and how the world works because of the maker. Because we're shit people and we need a bad guy. We can't have peace. Yeah. 
Yeah. Is the idea because they tested it in in his city, which I yeah. love to have seen that city, yeah. and and all uh, all tests worked out that this is the best way to do it. Yeah, good, good to have a common goal. You and you've got so you've got Hulk you there, chaos. you've got um, you've got the Rasputins mm-hmm. there, you've got the Asian sort of cards. What's he called? The, the y- Hamada, the Hamada, like it's su- Sunfire and and then Silver, uh, Silver Samurai. Uh, Samurai, Silver Samurai, and then you've got um, yeah Hulk mm. and. So Tony's, uh, not Tony, uh, Ed, what's his name? Howard. Howard. Howard Stark's now working for the maker and introduces him to his new lab and his new lab partner. Yes. Offshoot, not offshoot, uh, assistant. Mm. And it's uh, Reed Richards ah. in a Doctor Doom mask. Yes. It's fantastic. Absolutely. Are then, you going to like Reed Richards now, finally? No. <laughs> <laughs> But then the little... Cubby, the epilogue. Yeah. Did you flick the epilogue? Yeah. yeah. Ultimate Kang. Yeah. Mm. Oh. That's who sent in issue one or issue two where it was the avengers he back. Oh, to back to fight, yeah. fight and... Did you see that? Kang's the good guy. Yeah. Good. Good. Did you see him at the end? Because Kang's going to be Stark, right? Yeah, it's for sure. It's an Iron Man. Oh, yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah. yeah. Fair enough. Yeah. 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 That's cool. Very, very well put together. So who's our warlord then? Is are we Hulk people? Rictus. Huh? Rictus. <laughs> so what it is, we Hulk people or what? Just look. You guys couldn't work out your colours, so let's have a look. Yes. Yeah, I'll leave it in your hands. Uh, we'll upper and lower kingdoms. What's that? With the upper and lower kingdoms. So it doesn't say who is what. No. Uh, I'll be there. Children of the Eternal Light. These colours are terrible. Told you. <laughs> well, there's no freaking well, it doesn't help us get light. Yeah. All right, well, I'm working that out. Let's talk about the yes. book of the week. All right, Man, last book in the pile. Ah. Oh. Oh. Nick Klein. Shadows of the Immortal Hand. The, it helped people. Yep. Nice. Okay. I don't know. Um, the Nick Klein, best art of his career. Philip Kennedy Johnson. Woo! This book. So good. You can... Feel the dirt and sweat and grime on it. Grime. Ah, the dank. Yeah. So good. Uh, Tolkien, his little girl buddy, fighting... Zombies. Yeah. And, and redneck zombies. Cthulhu-looking ah. creature. That fight between the, Hulk and that thing was fantastic. Mate. That, there was a panel where he hit him, and then there was a streak down the page that had, like, five little pictures, and it was him just stabbing with that post and punching. And... Just the story that it was just telling us, with no words, nothing yeah. else, just excruciating large comments of crunch and whack and everything like that. So damn good. P- story through pictures, when it's done right. Oh. Yeah, yeah, man. And like, um, obviously, the last half run, utterly cool. Uh, previous run for that, Joe on Immortal, amazing. But this is my favourite Hulk design and art style in Fucking ages. Yeah, for sure. It's the Hulk I like. Yeah. He's big, muscly, long hair. No, but it's very uh, Dale Keown. Uh, Dale, Ke- Dale Keown, just dark. Yeah. Right? Grittier. And not just that, the 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 inner torment between Hulk and Banner yes. makes it darker yes, as well. Yes. Like, he ain't going to be around for much longer. Yeah. The way he's talking is yeah. just so matter-of-fact about it is excellent. My little gripe with the Hulk, not just in this book, is mm-hmm. in general, is when Hulk talks too much. Yes, he doesn't talk that much in this, though. You know, like full proper sentences and everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's not oh, a lot of dialogue. Like that, yeah. Sorry, yes. you mean when he's yeah. talking normal? Yes. Oh, I don't mind. Like, unless it's Professor Hulk. Hulk, that's different. But mm. like, you yeah, when like he's, you know, yeah, you don't has a whole full conversation and stuff. Yeah, yeah. I, I could deal with it being with a little bit less formally, so mm. to speak, right? Yeah. A little bit more. I'm, I'm fine with him having his faculties. I don't want to. Yes. Uh, ah, dull, I don't want a dullard Hulk. No. But I, yeah, I don't want Professor Hulk unless yeah. he's Professor Hulk. Yeah, he's probably a bit too well-spoken. Yeah. Or Dr. Green. Oh, I, w- I would agree with that. Probably a little well, too well-spoken. But the art is phenomenal. Oh, yeah, the little subplot with this girl, well, this is three issues in, and she's like my favourite character in Marvel going at the moment. Mm-hmm. Right? Like, yeah, she's great. Yeah. Hulk's got a teen sidekick. He does! Yeah. Again, well, Anger Hulk. management girl. Well, it's not the first yeah. time. Started off with a teen sidekick. But yeah, that, that but fight... That, she's Hulk's sidekick, not Banner's sidekick. Yeah, yeah. yeah. that's a yeah. good call. Excellent. That's a good call. Look at that double page spread. Oh, well, it's not really a double page spread. 
That's close enough. Yeah. It, it leaks over. Yeah, the whole dance. Can we uh, also have a talk about the ad in the back of that with the upcoming Benjamin Percy annual Ghost Rider with the hood? The what now? That. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. Yeah. Damn, that looks good. I haven't had the, anything good from the hood in a long time. Ooh, old Blaze and Bloodstone team up against the hood. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. So that could be a good annual. As, as long as it hasn't got Contest of Chaos or bullshit ever. I'm trying to sell it on the crap. <laughs> That's all in the pile. Dylan, you read anything else? No! Dave? Yes. What'd you read? Whoa. I read Marjorie Finnegan Temporal Criminal. Temporal Criminal? Yep. That um, was good. Last year. From, yeah, AWA <laughs> Upshot, was it? Yep. yep. And then this? I also read Aries as well. So. Oh, so we can talk about Aries now? You can talk yeah. about Aries, alright. Alright. What do you think about Mar- Marjorie? It was good. It was good. It just. Do you oh. want to read it, Aries? I should read Ronan first. That's probably, probably a good call. Yeah. <laughs> oh, maybe I should have done that. Yeah, tell you what. No, 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 no. Nothing. He only means that because I lent it to him three months ago. That's right. And he should read yeah, that you before lent, I lent. You lent Marjorie like a year ago. <laughs> I forgot. <laughs> and I didn't lend Aries to you. I lent that to him. I know. I'll just piggyback because I know you wouldn't lend me anything. <laughs> <laughs> the only reason I got it back was because it's him. Continue, please. Yes. I, want, I want to hear more about Marjorie. Marjorie? It took me a while to figure out what the Prince of Darkness was, like, getting up to. <laughs> Forgot about it. And just, like... But it was a point in the story. Yes. You, you, yeah, you I know, I know. Like, yeah. just, just this one moment where, like, it'll just change everything. Like, just, what would you change? And that was good. That was good. All right, yeah, it was pretty good. Yeah. It's a, it's a very it's fun, fun. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. You know what you're getting when he's doing that type of stuff? Yeah. Until it's him taking the piss and having a good time. Yeah, Stan. Oh my gosh. <laughs> yeah, it's a very out there book, very mature book. Yeah. Uh, but if you do like temporal craziness, Just some time traveling, uh, very brutish. It's the crazy shit that gets, she gets up to. At wild the start. mouth woman and like running. Oh, I'll just try it for JFK. Like, yeah. Oh. Her lair. How good's her lair? Yeah. Just in the middle of nowhere and shit. Like nothing. Like in time. Mm. Split. All right, Aries. Aries is good. Aries is good. Just um, good. Yeah, I, I don't know. But the thing is, it was captivating for me. Oh, it sh- fucking should have been. Because like, <laughs> it's like I should have like, I need to go to sleep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I wouldn't, I wouldn't. I couldn't stop. Yeah, yeah. I finished it because I needed to know what happened. Mm, yeah, I'm with you. I'm just thinking because of that time skip where it's five years, mm-hmm. like during the war, like it could have. I guess he sort of needed that because wars don't take like two days. Mm, and that's right. And also needed time Tom's to get brainwashed. Yeah, so. Because it was a early 2000s miniseries. Yeah. That it's long forgotten, has not been in print in fucking 20 years probably. And it's dark. Yeah. Mm. It is dark. Obviously it's going to be dark when it's gone to war and everything like that, but the, the brainwashing of the sun. So it's Ares that go to war. Um, it starts off with helping the gods of Athens one last time to send back the hordes, but he finally thinks he's got his chance to come up to Mount Olympus and be with them, but they still just think he's a piece of shit and only called upon because he's a dog of war. So he's like, fuck him, turn his back on him, and spent like a millennia yeah. fighting, just, being, all just being a normal dude and in fighting and of course himself. but then when we click back in he's got a son and his son's about seven or eight going to school single dad it's really cool the best bit is when they steal him to fight like just still entice him it's like come back to face this wall with us yeah and like no your son's gone he's like where are you and he's just and he busts out of a window and shotgun just yeah. ready to go and it's like Oh, uh, that was one of the good bits. Uh, the, lighting himself on th- fire and getting in a trebuchet and flinging oh, yeah. himself towards the uh, hordes of enemies yep. while he's covered on <laughs> fiery oil, annihilating them. That's probably the best bit. That sounds pretty good. That's yeah. fucking amazing. And it was that's the, what they did in Dark Knights of Steel. It was, it was the beginning of modern Ares. Like, the Ares mm. from the Hercules run, and from Dark Avengers. And then Secret Warriors yeah, because right. of the sun. Yeah, 100%. Because like, the Ares before that was just... Your typical Greek god, sort of, uh, you know, yeah. 70s 
superhero shit. So but then yeah, it's this uh, the, modern. the gods of the East that have stolen, well, kidnapped the kidnapped kid and just start in his ear to be the, you know, you need to... Become usurp. the new god of war. Yeah, yeah, you need to usurp. He killed his dad. You need to kill your dad. Yeah. You need to take the reins. He's a grass god. You can be so much yeah. better. And... Does yeah, man. Does the grass, really... grass cutter have any significance or...? They use it later. Okay. But not... Stuff. Pre- I hadn't seen it previously, you know. but yeah. Oh. I thought it was like something mythical and it's like, oh... No, it's, just, kill no, it's more. Yeah. Crap like that, you know? It's just a cool name for a sword. Yeah. Really cool. And for a prick that's trying to... Not chat to a chick you've been chatting to. Um, yeah, that area... Uh, again, it's hard to recommend because she's just... You can't sell it? You can't it's hard to find? But yeah, if um, you want to borrow it off me, let me know what's worth you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Dave, any else? No, nah, that's all for me. But you nope. Nope. Uh, I read Pink Elephant. Someone's gone. It's the um, Pliskin, the latest of the Pliskin <laughs> books. So these are smaller style books. The last one was a group of 20 odds going out to a cabin in the woods, stopped, and one of them stole a little pack of mints that they find out later is not mints. It was like <laughs> LSD. And they take the LSD, and this pink elephant killer just starts chasing them down. And in this book, who he gets his hands on them and gets his hands on them strongly. This art is probably the best art of the. Oh, it's hard to say. The other ones have been good, but this the detailed. This gore, is a little more refined. Yeah, real refined seventies looking yep. horror LSD laden amazing sex scene, crazy horror scene. It is over the top book. Definitely not for the faint of heart, but or yeah, children. Definitely not for children. Um, but yeah, Pink Elephant. If you see it in your local shop, definitely pick it up and have a flick because you'll uh, you'll get a, quite an eyeful. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's it for you. Yep. Two, two of these books took like an hour to read each, bro. <laughs> okay. One, one of them made me cry, the bastard. <laughs> Alrighty, we got. Uh, on Netflix, new One Piece live action. Are we going to do these ones? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> so. Before we talk about One Piece. Yes. Let's do our upcoming books. Previews came All out. Alright, so we've got the Marvels. Go Marvel previews. Marvel stuff, which will be for November releases. We'll just have a little look at some of the things. Spirit Spider Man is back. Oh. Uh, he's coming back. Dance Lot and Mark Bagley. So, what is the catalyst for Superior Spider Man this time around? Uh, well, in. Amazing Spider-Man 31 slash 925, there was a short story where um, he's realised that they've taken some of his memories from these time as being Spider-Man stuff because it's stuff he should have been able to work out. So he's like, oh no, it's time to get superior again. Get some memories back. Yes, because he should not have lost. Well, wait, in the end of Superior Spider-Man, didn't he just reclaim his mind? Well, what he thought was all of it, but mm. now he's realising there's bits missing. Stuff missing yeah. oh. Because there's more stories to tell. Yes. Okay. And Dan Slott's got nothing else to talk about. Yeah, you can only have Dan Slott and Spider-Man. Yeah. And they don't want any more main Spider-Man. Yeah. Because everyone got sick of that. Yeah. Okay. Essentially. But yeah, that, that hopefully will be good. Uh, hopefully. Uh, there's a new Deadpool mini. I think that's a one-shot. Oh, one-shot, sorry. Don't tell me. Yes. Uh, no. I bet it, I think. Yes, one does. One-shot. Uh, Seven Slaughter because Deadpool's mini just got chopped at like issue 10 or on his ongoing yeah what's going to happen with the that's kind of like mini if it's uh, no well, it was it was yeah it was supposed to be ongoing but <laughs> got the chop I don't know but he he, he can live past that well yeah I guess nobody liked Alyssa Wong's writing ah what a surprise so Gods number two yes uh, I'd just like to read to the listeners and viewers essentially what we're going to get from this book because it's really just going to encapsulate everything <laughs> around it. So, um, the Centrum normally has 25 primes. Now only three remain. College isn't worth the time or the money. There's a hidden book in the hidden library that hides a hidden door. And Cubic's Core is from Georgia. Like that matters. <laughs> yeah. Cool. So, bring it on, Mr. Hickman. Oh, and I don't remember it this week. Came out and said, because they've been very unclear, this mini or whatever. And he's like, depends if people like it. We would like to be ongoing. Oh, wow. Mm. <laughs> and you're like, and obviously, it would not be a very, it'd be like a 30 issue run, yeah, yeah, yeah. you would imagine. But yeah, yeah, you didn't have, like, you've been getting stories 
in all these books, and I still got no idea what's going on. Mm-hmm. And I think a couple of issues in, you'll still have no idea. Have what's you going seen on. this? Um, the Scotty Young cover, and it's the new. Who's the new way? Or, yeah, yeah. And he's like. Are you Doctor Strange? He's like, no. He's like, but you've got grey in your sides and you've got a goatee and you've got a you got a mustache. I think you're Doctor and you can change reality. You're Doctor Strange, man. <laughs> I'm like, Scotty, calm down, man. Um that Secret Wars picture that he's looking at there. Yes. What is going on with the Hulk's head? He's Ah Is he? Is that what you call it? I call it Whoa. deformed. Tough love chunk, bro. Come Jesus. on. Uh, so Marvel Super, going back to the original 80s Secret Wars Battle World, one of these flashback books, I would imagine by the look of that, Tom DeFalco, yeah, yeah cool, whatever. Your Spider-Gwen Gwen miniseries, yeah. fine. This one. Yes. Never in my life did I think I'd be getting one of these flashback miniseries from late 90s, Daredevil, Black Armor. <laughs> A high point very, in Daredevil's history. Very apt title. Black armor. And some sick ass looking venoms. Or yes. and carnage. I think that's carnage and they've got venom down the corner yes. there. That whole the art looks fantastic. interior double page looks phenomenal. What's that top right like demon with DD on his chest? I don't know. Yeah, that's, it looks phenomenal. The literal Daredevil. Crazy. You know what? It does look like from the... The Marvel Comics presents ones. Anyway. But yes, so original uh, of the era, Daredevil writer, DG Chester or whatever, coming back. Put me down uh, for one of these, please. Yes, no worries. Thanos, Cantwell, and Pizarri. The story's interesting, but like the Illuminati's hidden something from him. So yeah. That's going to get it. But who's in the Illum- Illuminati now? Well, well, when is this set, yeah. Dave? I don't know. Make it set when all the good characters are still in there back in the day. Yeah, but it doesn't look like it according to the variant cover. It's just a variant cover, though. Hmm? It's just a variant cover. It doesn't mean it's, you know... I oh, know. Well, that tells you no, the Illuminati. You've got White Queen in there. Yeah, so she'd be the X-Men representative. Yeah. Because Xavier is... Yeah, gone. Out, or, yeah, out of the whatever. picture. The Beast is the worst mutant on the Earth. So, Emma Frost is the... Head mutant. She's gonna marry Iron Man to get in the Illuminati. And it's also got Lady Death on the side. She ain't part of the Illuminati champion, so <laughs> that doesn't necessarily mean that's the Illuminati people. And no, Hulk's on there. Not, Hulk is never part no, of the Illuminati. Was Madame Mask of Illuminati? No, no, she was the Cabal. Ah, uh, yeah. That's not Madame Mask. Yeah. Anyway. Anyway. <laughs> Thanks, Dave. Quite this looks good. <laughs> Out of the duck one shot. Um. Yeah. Get a you, chip. Uh, I think it's anniversary. It's a 50th anniversary, maybe? But yeah, I yes, think it's, it is. It's got to do with it that. It is 50th anniversary. Uh, Thunderbolts 1, yeah. coming in landing. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So I'm both super excited because I think it'll be good. Not overly fussed with the team lineup. It's very MCU based. Plus Shang-Chi. Um, <laughs> but they're talking about Shang-Chi being good or bad, too. It's weird. Yeah. Um, and they look also talking about, like, in the solicitor, talking about taking down some pretty big. Mm. Names. The it's... only thing I'll say, they're all pretty much spies. Yeah. Mm. All right. Like so. Yeah. Okay. It could be. I think it's going to be very espionage heavy. Well, you know they've got I mean? the right writers for that. Yeah. Um. Who will be the new century? Next. Who cares? Speaking of, um, who's the new Punisher? Some guy. Some S.H.I.E.L.D. agent. No, He's the man. Eminem by the looks of it. Um, Garrison. Mr. Post, Garrison. Nice. That post, watch. Maybe there'll be something good, you know, like we shit on this and rightfully so. But maybe it'll be like a good book. Propose gives me hope. Yeah, like I don't, it won't be a good Punisher book, but it might be a good book. Something might come out of yeah. it. Yeah. And if it's six issues and Frank comes back, then, you know, yeah, so yeah, be yeah. it. Um, it's John Wick makes the fugitive. Ah! Yeah. I hate that rubbish. Uh, no, I'm done with it. Already. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, what are we talking about? Gang War? Yeah, big crossover, Gang War, I guess. Spider Man, the Street Heroes. Well, I think the biggest revelation to come out of this that I'm most disappointed about is that pretty cool character that came out of the wedding. The black dude that. Yeah. His name's Shotgun. Nah, of course. That's piss weak. Yeah. Anyway. But he's got Rack Rap. Yeah. Reminds me of my dog, man, with that tongue. 
A spider woman. Can't break that dog. <laughs> Pet that dog. Pet that finally, dog. <laughs> finally, a Luke Cage miniseries. Who are you doing it? Uh, Rodney Barnes. Raymond F. Bash. Not heard of him. Um, Bash I've seen. Uh, like, they made Luke Cage mayor of New York and have done really nothing with it. Mm. Like, well, I guess Gang War is going to be part yeah, of it. Yeah, yeah. But, yeah. So hopefully, but yeah, hopefully it'll be okay. Um, White Widow miniseries, Yelena. Obviously, we're getting closer to some, trying to do the push for Thunderbolts. Isn't that just a pushback? Yeah. Yeah, cool. Marvel don't find this out until too late. Ah, uh, cool, cool. Why would the comics talk to the movies? Yeah, no. No way. Um, like different divisions. They'd be on yes. different levels. Uh, Spider Boy's getting his own series, if you like that. From that kind of thing. Carnage getting a new series. Yeah, so that Carnage, it's the same writer that's doing the new the new Venom, or not the new Venom, but Venom from 26 or 27 yeah. onwards. And then they're saying here that that's... Laying the groundwork for the next Venom epic. Um, that Doctor Strange, Alex Ross covers are oh, just getting yeah. better and better. Yeah. For sure, for sure. Say. Um, what if Dark? New What if Dark? Tomb of Dracula. Marv Wolfman coming back to do a Tomb of Dracula. Yeah, so you think so. Yeah, I'm down for that. Looks really cool. Um, yeah, I, these What if Darks in general have been pretty good, especially these ones where they bring them back an old creator that sort of fits the. Story they're doing. You may have flicked past it, but yes, um, Sensational She Hulk, number two. Yes. Like, I think it took seven or eight issues for something to happen to the last one. Hulk's in the second issue. Bring that yeah, on. Yeah, Hulk's on the cover. Yeah, he'll be in it. They'll probably have a cake together. Oh, uh, yeah, cake day. Um, Maybe it's like a is it cake? And they've got to yes. work out and by smashing it. <laughs> Everything else, pretty much all the regular books. <laughs> That's spine tingling Spider Man. I know it's the second issue, but that looks really cool. I'm intrigued on if that's going to be as dark as they're saying it's going to be. Yeah, we'll see. Yeah. Uh, but that's about it for Marvel. Actually, so, facsimiles. Both Days of Future Past part issues coming out as facsimiles. So, Uncanny uh, 141 and 142. Uh, so, that's cool. Class get, hitting both parts out. Like, they did the same with, like, Hulk 180 and 181. I, I like that. The final hours of Moon Knight. Mm. Moon Knight 29. Well, that's why there's a Moon Knight variant for every single book yep. in this. Yep. Um, uh, can we talk about that Alex Ross cover? Yes. Um, Is that one of the best Alex Ross covers ever? Yes. We have no idea what's going on, but I don't think you need any context to no. this. I'm pretty sure the cover tells you everything. Is Dr. Doom riding a Dr. Doom going Doom. a Doombot. Yes. Yes. Well, the last issue was the Fantastic Four fighting dinosaur Avengers. That is true. So there was like this T-Rex Captain America throwing a shield. Okay. That seems probably about it in the Marvel section, I think. Cool. Of anything new? A note? Oh, the only other thing was how much we're loving Hulk at the moment. Hulk number six. Oh, yeah. Attack of the Zombie Ghost Rider. It's like a Ghost Rider from the, the, the war. Like he's... Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Old school. Yeah, it's really cool. Oh, and Blade too. Blade looks like that could be an interesting book as it gets a little bit... Like five and six here. And him I and, didn't mind him, the first Him issue. and Dracula and... Yeah, I think that could be really cool. But I was just like, I don't need another oh, book, you know? Oh, Alien. New Alien with Declan Shelby. Yeah, it's on it currently. Hmm? Marvel is stupid and just relaunch Alien every six months with a new number one and don't change the name of the book, just Alien again. Wow! That'd be the third number one in about 18 months, two years. Because Shelby, I thought, might be... Yeah, he's on the current one. Oh, is he? Yeah. Okay, that's weird. It just... And, like, I think Alien in minis is the best way, but maybe, like, a tagline? Like, the trades are called Alien Bloodline. They have yeah. subtitles. Why, 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 oh, it sounds like Venom Lethal Protector. Yes. Which one is it? Oh, it doesn't matter. <laughs> there wasn't one before the shit one. There was a shit one. No, there wasn't. I'll never be able to tell in two years in the back issue when <laughs> trying to sort them when people make a mess. <laughs> Whatever. All right, let's move on to DC Connect. Also for November stuff. I don't think it was as much exciting stuff. Tons of Titans crossover. Beast Wars. Beast Wars. Beast Wars. Uh, obviously, they're going Ooh, all in Rhinox. on Titans. Hmm? Rhinox. Rhinox. <laughs> um, so, yeah, tons of that. Yeah, they're going hard on the Titans stuff, which I'm down for. Maybe a bit too hard, maybe, I think, mm. with... Presently, Titans, I think, have about four different comics on the shelf. Damn. It's a bit excessive. Um, oh, new miniseries from 
Jason Aaron and Doug Menke. Batman off world. Yes, Jason Aaron over at DC. Doug Menke. It'll look fabulous. It'll probably take five years to come out. Mm-hmm. Unfortunately, but we'll see. But so I, I, I'm, I've always liked Jason Aaron. Um, but it was probably time for him to say to move on from Marvel for a while, take do some different stuff, new toys to play with. Mm-hmm. He's done a lot of characters for a long time. So I'm interested to see what he does with the Batman book. And like. Firstly, every comic book writer's got a Batman story up their sleeve, right? I, you wouldn't be a comic writer if you did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Have you might own... not get your chance to pull it out. No, but... but it's there waiting yeah, because you, it's Batman. Yeah. So that that should be good. Um, there's a new Batman 89 sequel. Oh. Echoes. So is that the second one? Or... Yeah, second one. Yeah. And um, uh, Superman 78 one as well. Yep. Yeah, I'm not sure about that. Yeah. I'm not, yeah. Getting, I'm not getting either one then. Because it's like Metallo. Yes. But he's Which, just in a Lex Luthor battle yeah, suit like, looking uh, thing. Metallo is exactly what I would be doing if I was writing these books. Yeah. But not just... A dude in a suit. Yeah. Like, it's Russian Metallo because of the time. Of course. Perfect. Yeah. But Robert with Krypton, Kryptonite Krypto Heart is so just simple. What are we changing that for? Just League Godzilla Kong continues. They've got their Christmas special, DC. What's this one? Santa Claus, Silent Night. Um... Everything else looks just Usual back stuff. to normal. Oh, Outsiders? Oh, yeah. Yes. Landing and Kelly go um, doing some more DC work. I am oh, down. not Kevin Nash? No. Okay. Unfortunately. I'm down for that. Uh, Batwoman-centric leading the team yeah. with uh, Fox and Katana, I would assume. Better for Scott Hall and Kevin Nash. Hey? Better for Scott Hall and Kevin yes. Nash. Yes. Well, way better. Um... But I think that was... Yeah, I think it's beast, the Beast Wars thing is the only... So that's the next big event? Yeah. 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 Um, Night Terror's Demon Days, that's finished now, eh? Yeah. 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 Um, there were, like, five facsimiles. Yes, in that is true. Some interesting ones, too, yeah. actually. We get some old racism, are we? Fine. Yeah. So, maybe. Which was a star at the time. <laughs> 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 We've got Adventure Comics 260, which is the Silver Age Aquaman origin. Oh. So, like, the start of modern Aquaman, yeah. I guess. Is that what, the one riding on seahorses and stuff, or...? Yes. Yeah? Nice. Uh, All-Star Comics 3, which obviously is the first meeting of the Justice, Justice Society, Society of America. Mm. Uh, the famous cover with them all sitting around the table. Mm. Very okay. famous DC cover. Uh, Batman number 5. The debut of the remodeled Golden Age Batmobile. That's exciting, DC. That's needed. But you got to get a Batman book out there, bro. She, I'm a shock for him, Mark. Uh, of the five. Doom, Doom Patrol 99. Uh, it's the Beast Boy. So uh-huh. That makes sense. You know, we're yeah, yeah, going hard on the Italian yeah, Beast Boy yeah. thing. Uh, and then we got uh, Wonder Woman issue one, 1942. Uh, the first Wonder Woman solo title. So that... Like made from sand and or like that. Yeah, yeah, all, yeah. Oh, cool. Yeah, interesting. Well, her first appearance was in was it All Star? Yeah, or sensational. 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 I think it was All Star. Yeah, one of one of the other. Yeah, yeah, but they haven't done a facsimile of that yet. Yeah, nah. we've not. But so I think her origin was in that. I don't know. They, they might retell it in that. You'd imagine so. Because with right. Superman number one, they did retell yeah. the Superman. You got it right. <laughs> so Justice Society of America is that a different Earth? Uh, I've just asked a bad no, question, haven't I? Yes and no. Not really now. Yeah. But back then? Back then? Were they, so it was back not then real. there was no, no Not real. then either. Yeah. It's the middle years. Yeah. <laughs> when, when they made Justice League, yes. that was when they were like, okay, just uh, that, that's a different earth. Ah, uh, right. The Justice Society yeah. was first. Yes. Oh. They were the Golden Age yes. superior team. Right. And then updated most of those characters and made like... Yeah. Just like, like the green light and yeah, 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 new flash. Okay, interesting. Cool. <laughs> yeah, it's very ridiculous when yeah, you ask. Yeah. Like it's yeah. perfectly fine question to ask, yeah. Yeah. and but but the like, answer is not. Cop- it's complicated. Yes. This is history, and I it, wouldn't expect timelines. anything less from DC timelines. <laughs> it's so convol- com- convoluted. They did like a freaking event to straighten it out, and then mess that up pretty fast. Um, <laughs> next. All right, that's everything? Yeah, that's yep. everything. Um, okay, now we're going to talk about One Piece. How is One Piece, Dave? We'll have Resident to, One Piece expert. We'll yes. have to use Nidin's microphone, because mine died. Yes. Oh. It was really good. <laughs> I, 
David's a big giant One Piece fan, so yeah. Like, okay, I can nitpick at it, but really, it was entertaining. Um, some things happen that don't happen. Some like some things are out of order. You yeah. want that too, don't you? You do because it, it do works. You know exactly what's coming. It yeah. does work better for TV. Of course, yeah. that's the thing. Adaption, people. Yeah. So, like in the first episode, Nami, Zoro, and Luffy, Luffy wind up in a bar. Oh, spoilers. That never happens in the manga. Sure. Basically, I, I'm pretty sure... It was 20 years ago since I read this, yep. so... I'm pretty sure Luffy first comes across Zoro he's when he's up. tied up. Because I remember oh, that from gotcha, the cartoon. Gotcha, gotcha. From the right? No, that, this works better, and given you, a bit yeah, of a... You find out later why Zoro's there, and it's pretty much the same thing that happens here. Yeah, but yeah, like, it, it's got to be done for TV, just so, you know... He sees him yeah. as opposed to and out of the blue. Okay, so I'll did, untie you if you join me. Did you get a similar feeling watching this that you did watching the anime? Um, a little bit. It'll be interesting to see how they do some things in Especially the future. Especially since you only yeah, watched one episode. Yeah. yeah, definitely. Yeah. So what is it? Six? Eight. Eight. eight okay. Yeah, I've only seen okay, the first one. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Cool. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Because like at the end of the first episode, first episode, you see Buggy, and his power is like he. Dis, like basically dis, um, dismembers himself. Yeah, like and rocket, he's able rocket to, arm. No, no, or his whole body. His whole body, trailer. and he's able to like control his body parts. Ah, yes, 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 yes. I can do that. Yeah. Because I never seen anything or anything. Obviously, whatever. This like I was like, oh, he stretches. Even though that was, they told me it was in the trailer, <laughs> but um, I liked how they didn't hide away from the ridiculousness of it. Yeah. You know, like the the captain in these stupid metal. Yeah. Jaw thing could have been bigger. <laughs> I would. <laughs> yeah, I know they 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 turned it down enough to make yeah. it real. You don't go with Sammy this. Real, yeah, because in like, the anime yeah. that dude is huge. Of course, he is jacked as hell. But man. like, it's still ridiculous. It's, like, yeah. what, what is he doing? Like, it's not like he's got a whole metal jaw. It's just like, but it you go okay, you know. I think it is, but it didn't look like it in the show. I don't think it's trying to look like a jaw in the show. Does he have a metal jaw, Dave? Oh, I think it's more like a helmet for his jaw, which I think that's what it looks like in the show. But I think in the comic, yeah, sure, sure. it's an actual trap jaw, yeah. sort of. Yeah, <laughs> it basically trap 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 like if you want to look at, there's I think on Netflix it's called Episode of East Blue, which mm. is essentially probably that first season. Sure. So that was good. Um, he was yeah. annoying. I wanted to punch him in the face. Yeah, he's very annoying. But, I but I'm pretty sure that's the deal. Though, that's his yeah. sort of shtick. Like yeah. you've got anime characters like Luffy and Naruto who are kind of just yeah, yeah, little like, shits. Anime oh, protagonists are like either whiny little emo boys yeah. or annoying boys that you want to punch in the face. Yeah. But it's really cool when you get because like there are bits where he gets serious. Like he's going to throw down. And he get he has to get serious, and you'll see him turn serious. Well, he's also young too, so of course yeah. you're going to get yeah. that. I would have liked him younger. Like, of course you do. <laughs> I mean, but you can't do Just like a like twelve-year-old. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, like it's sixteen, aging too. Yeah, sixteen yeah, yeah, yeah. between series and shit. It's, yeah, it's yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. Like, yeah. yeah. If, Carl if, if this gets young shit. Like, no, yeah. but what you do is you pound like five seasons. Because <laughs> like later on, it's a time skip. Right. So you yeah, can yeah, forgive. Yeah, like, yeah. it's like okay. two years. Yeah, time but they can't pound. Because I don't know if it's going to... Sell. Yeah, yeah if anyone's going to watch it. It's one piece. It's going to sell. Yeah, but, oh, but not, not if it's shit, terrible. Yeah. You, you, they will not watch it at all. Yeah. 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 Oh, no. There, but it's, the, got, the, it's got high ratings, so... Flash, yeah, 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 very well, high. I noticed. So I they spent could, some money, yeah. and there were, like, a lot of fights in the first episode, yeah. which is a lot of action. That favourite bit is in the bar with Zoro, and he doesn't even Zoro draw his... Zoro was cool. doesn't even draw a sword. He's just like... Yeah, Tip, tripping him up and, yeah, yeah. yeah he was great she awesome. was excellent yeah. yeah she's great awesome yeah that little take notice okay cop boy was exactly <laughs> like he was in the show oh yeah Kobe yeah yeah Kobe's exactly pretty much yeah that was like like another bit in the manga is like Luffy actually beats him up in front of marines to prove that oh. they're not associated oh, that's a bit harsh no but like he's, yes yes yes, you yes. Know. yeah you gotta do what you gotta do yeah, yeah. cover mm. But it doesn't really happen in this one. He just goes, oh, I'm staying back. The, the, ca- yeah. the captain's son was all right, too. Like, he's great. Oh, he's, yeah, like, great. You know when, when Zoro comes in and thingy, yeah. I'm like, straight away, I'm like, he can clearly see in show he's got no shirt on. I'm like, oh, he naked for sure. <laughs> <laughs> and he is. 
That's great. Yeah. <laughs> so what's the go? You're, you're going to sip this like a fine wine. So a little bit, Just yeah. like an episode a week or a couple or... Because oh. I'll watch an episode this week now. You've, uh, you've Yeah, let's go, I'll I'll go once a week. I'll right. go yeah, once a week. If I like to... the first, I'll watch the second. But... I'll watch more. Yeah. You'll, you'll watch. I'm intrigued. You'll like it. Don't tell me what I'll do. Okay. I was... I was... You'll hopefully like it. I'm tempted to watch... <laughs> That's better. More last night, but I was like, oh, I've got to read some books. Yeah, you got chosen one to finish. Yes. That's why I went that today instead. I was like, that's, that was first. But overall, yeah, very good. Very yeah, good. Solid. Very nice. Very Just solid. Good. And the quality, man. Because like, you could have money. done something like that two ways. You could have went, like, taken all the bit looniness out yeah, and yeah, just for made sure. it more real. Or you could have kept it, like, but then you lose... the same and over the top. Yeah. And it's like... Too much. Go, yeah. I think you're losing a, a lot of the show if you do that, though. Yeah. Like, yeah. you want to make it real to life because it's it's normal television. But at the same time, yeah. if you're doing it too straight out, then you're losing the fun of what the anime yeah. is. I feel they've, like, as not a fan, but yeah. and watched one episode, I feel well, they've straddled that line perfectly. Yeah. When Zora first fights, that's, that surprised me you did that. Yeah. That really yeah, surprised yeah, yeah. me. Yeah. Oh, um, spoilers. No, I don't give a shit. Okay. Um, yeah. So you said the first episode was like a few... Yeah, like epi- I've only seen like three or four episodes of the, of the anime, and that first episode encompassed, encompassed all of So what are we yeah. what are we expecting this first series might be like? First the last ten, thing you'll ten, see... Ten seasons or some shit? I reckon the last thing you'll see this season is Chopper, which is the little bunny, like little... And where is he coming in the anime? He comes in... Oh. Episode four. Because how it happens is... <laughs> 1,052. Because, <laughs> like, on the ship you see Luffy, Zoro, Nami, Sanji, and Usopp. Did you just count to ten in Japanese? No. Okay. <laughs> but there's five. Yeah. There's yeah, ten total. Okay. So, Chopper is logic. Chopper's so, the next one. The next one in. Um, so, what about the question I asked? Well, he's got to like be second season. Like- Chopper will be second season. That's it's got to be. Asked. Like, in the anime, when does Chopper come in? It's hard... There's... Oh, I don't remember what episode it was. No, no, but like, but season, early, two, how season early, three, yeah. season four, season 22. Let's go season... Oh. Let's go season four. Okay, cool. Thank you. That was different. Yeah. It's hard. There's like... Hmm. Oh, there's a thousand. That's why I'm trying to yeah. just grasp, like, a, yeah. a roundabout what episode, they're trying to encapsulate in one. In I'd one. say episode... Oh. Because at the same be time, wrong, you don't but... want to bastardize stuff and miss stuff out that was really good in the anime oh. because there was so many episodes. They draw the anime out a little bit, though. What a shock. Yeah. Yeah. I would never have guessed. An anime. There's this and whole a thousand thing... plus episodes. Yeah. Yeah. There's this really? whole thing called One Piece. And basically, it's the anime, but they cut all the filler, <laughs> unnecessary things out. Oh, wow. And um... So you're about five minute episodes. Oh, well, yeah. It could <laughs> they be. would cut whole episodes, right? Like... There's one scene. Oh, it'll be full like, episodes for sure. There's one scene I'll show you later. Like he's punching someone, and it's just all the effects and like the reactions of everyone take like at least three minutes. <laughs> <laughs> but in the one piece, it's just that, and then quick reaction effect, yeah. and concludes. Okay. So, Interesting. Yeah, it's Dylan sitting over there, heartbroken about Halo. I Season two's you, coming, buddy. I don't know what you're talking about. <coughs> I have no oh, there's shit tons better than Halo. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Don't yeah, worry, bro. That, that is literally... Hey, come watch One Piece. Come watch One Piece. Don't worry, bro. Two Venom movies. It's all good. I know, I know you're paying. I, no, I don't think you do. No. <laughs> no, I, I honestly... Did you see that second one? No. Shut up. Yeah. <laughs> we'll talk. I didn't want to see Master Chief's fucking butt, okay? I didn't want to see his butt. I saw it twice. Anyway! And they did take his helmet off in like the first 15 first, minutes. Or first, episode. first episode. One uh, piece, I'm pleased. Very good. good to hear, Dave. Yeah. Okay. And also good TV. Uh, Star Wars Ahsoka. <laughs> it says also. the person not watching it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's why it's good. One episode in, I think One Piece is a better show yeah. than Ahsoka. To be fair, like... I forgot where and it I like happened soak, but... in this episode of Ahsoka. Didn't leave you were soaking. It was like <laughs> half an hour, <laughs> yeah. these episodes, and there was action and the plot gets driven forward. <laughs> yeah, like, yeah, yeah. <coughs> it was fine. Yeah. I didn't think it was as good as the first episode. Yeah. But, um... What happens in this? Oh, they... Yeah, they find the, the ring Don't and reach, they yeah. do the little fight. And... Can I say, one of my fucking... Never lasers. Most fucking annoyed part of modern Star Wars... It's <laughs> about is these fucking space battles going too long? Because they miss too much, man. Like, fuck. I know it's the stormtrooper gag. 
You know, like, they don't need, couldn't need a fucking wall or whatever, but... Just pew, 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 pew. Yeah, no, never no, get nothing, but yeah. the good guy... Three shots in, they did yeah, shooting yeah, ships. Yeah, and they're disguising oh, it now hell. by, like... They're disguising it by having shields on the ship now. It's like, oh, look, they can actually hit the target. Yeah, yeah. They just have shields now. Well, they always had sort of shields. But but, but you, they were never visible in the nah. movies. You know what annoyed me about... in the show yeah, either. This, they're not. Okay. You know what annoyed but, me about this one, though? Yeah. Those turbo lasers. Yeah. She could have just kept using them, like... Yes. And they would be dead. They'll yes. be done. That's yes. it. Over. But no, she it wasn't as offensive as the Mando TIE fighter <laughs> battle. Right, where, yeah. God damn. But it was pretty close. I did, There's I, six, six fighters coming for them. Didn't, just, just, did not get hit. Six but, on one. Yeah. Oh, man. You know what I mean? Like, you but, gotta, you the, gotta, the, the Jedi's get them. Because, okay, clearly your protagonists are probably going to be safe, right? Yes! But you have to fucking Make throw a tarp like, yeah. over, that plate, uh, uh, over that plot armor, mm-hmm. okay? you got to disguise it mm-hmm. as a writer, right? And you it's got, open space! Yeah, you got to make it feel yeah. like Fuck, these guys... you missing? you got to make it feel like these guys aren't fucking dumb. Yes. Mm-hmm. The, the the villains, right? you got to yes. make them feel like Competent! Like, yeah, yeah, exactly. It's like fighting a polar bear at the front of the Fortress of Solitude. It's just... Give us a fucking proper reason. Yes. Do a proper thing. If you're going to do it, do it right. Have three or four. Six against yeah. one. Yeah. Give us Or an asteroid field where they're yes. going... Yeah. Yeah. Yes. 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 That's sort of did that with yeah. the space whales. But after they'd already not been shot for 20 yeah, yeah, minutes, yeah, yeah. it felt space like. Whales. I did like space whales. Yeah, that was good. They're and I did like Ahsoka right? going outside and fighting them in space. Yeah, that was a bit ridiculous. <laughs> yeah. She gets on the spaceship. Like in a spaceship. With the lightsabers. The Jeva. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Good. Yeah, I right. swear to God. <laughs> okay. When you knew where she was going, I was like, this bitch gets out. <laughs> TV off. <laughs> but she did. I just yeah. had to ask after that Star Wars. She had a vision. specific <laughs> uh, species accurate yeah. spaceship. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it's a ship. Yes, I know, but that was great. I thought it was cool. I was outside. She got a lightsaber. It's cool visual. Yeah. Yeah, it was pretty cool. It's good. I like it. And then the space whales, which I like in any sort of medium. Yep. Um, yeah, it's all right. Yeah, it's fine. It's not literal space whales. Is that what you get? Space whales that can yeah. go hyper speed, right? Yeah. Is that the thing? Yeah. Mm. Because they lead to other dimensions or some crap like <laughs> well, they, they can, they can... Star and well, galaxies. I would assume right. that's where we got the idea of having space from, right? Somebody seen them and then captured them, cut them open, and worked out how it works. Because that's what we do as people. Mm-hmm. Um, the other thing that annoys me yeah, need that to know how old they are. Is I am sick to death of clearly the New Republic is corrupt and there's Imperials in charge. Is it? And... Oh, that dude. Yeah. And that like, he's clearly bad. Right? Stab I'm him on my face. Stab him in the face. And like, and <laughs> obviously they are a little hampered because they. We know that the first order happens, and yeah. that obviously that yeah. there's imperial remnants, and there would be. I get that, but senators, I'm pretty sure, would be vetted so hard yeah. because this is what got them in the problem in the first place. And like this dude is just blowing off a goddamn war hero, and like, don't worry, bitch, you just we're not spending the money on yeah. finding your friend. And like, Mon Muffin's just like, mm, I believe you, Hera. But no, this guy's bad. I like everyone like on the, the, the council's talks except for the alien dude. Yeah. With the eyes and stuff. Yeah. Uh, Reyes. Yeah. Uh, Reyes doesn't get to say nothing. No. Well, I think it's just because the prosthetic, he couldn't move his mouth. But it's a hologram. You can't just CGI that. I was going to say, who said it was a prosthetic? It's probably got damn the whole thing was just digital, bro. Then he could have said some words. Yes. <laughs> Racists. <laughs> he's they, just they, waiting in line. He's New like... Republic of Speciesists. <laughs> Freaking vampire was. Yes. But yeah, I just, it was a bit, oh, come on, instantly? Well, like was, last week where the, the shipyard clearly yeah. had some Imperial hold-ons and stuff, that was cool. Mm. But this, I'm like, the powers of B are instantly, oh no, mm. they're bad. It's just so stuck on the same dynamic. And I also feel, feel like it's a little bit, like, redundant and un- unnecessary because we know the First Order is separate from yes. the New Republic. The New it's Republic... A, it's a military coup. Yeah, is its own thing and, and the First Order is a completely different entity that comes in. So why why is there corrupt stuff yeah. happening? Yeah. Like, uh, when did space whales come into the rebels? S- okay, that's why I have no idea what yeah. the frig you were talking about. Don't worry, I, that surprised me. It's like, <laughs> am I am I yeah. upside down? Could you I tell I? it was from a kids' cartoon? <laughs> yeah, Could you? I didn't see. On that note, 
Mm. I thought Kanan died. He did. He did? He did. Okay, cool. That's why I yelled it in our previous before pod meeting. um, If the goddamn armored dude turns out to be Kanan or Ezra, I'm going to turn the TV off. Because it's shit. Mm. Goddamn Dave Filoni. It's going to be one of them. Who? Dave Filoni. (laughs) That's not what you said. Yeah, (laughs) shut up. (laughs) Can't kill these characters, bro. I know. Fuck Dave Filoni fan fiction is all we get for Star Wars. Besides Andor. His helmet's cool, I guess. Seems a little bit out of place to me, though. A little bit. Mm. <laughs> when you put him next to all the other Inquisitors, he doesn't look like he fits. Yeah. Well, well he's not even an Inquisitor. Is, is he not? Like yeah. the other. He's just like... Oh, okay. So you got the, the fake Sif. Okay. And he, the fake Sif's got an apprentice girl. Okay. Who I reckon is his daughter. Oh, maybe, yeah. And uh, they've got this one as well. Oh, okay. So, so he's not an Inquisitor. No. Oh, he he's just got the... Lightsaber. Yeah. Here comes Andy in his medieval cosplay again. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's like they're not really Sith, they're just yeah. evil Jedi. Well, god damn. Oh, so he's not a, he's not <laughs> a tomato, s- tomato, bro. He's not a Sith Inquisitor, just he's an, an evil Jedi Inquisitor. Yes. Just there we go. Okay. All right. Yes. Yeah. Mm. I like it though. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sure. I was, I was like happy it. when I looked at the thing. It's like, oh, 30 minutes. I'm like, oh, that's Yeah, good. I can knock that out. Yeah. <laughs> I can sit through that. Can yeah, I? Wait. Go. Please. I was unsure if I was going to mention this. Because I can't remember if I mentioned it last time. Maybe I did. Do it again. And maybe it's just me. Here we go. It's going to be real good. Dylan, you might need to... <laughs> no, this seems... I'm not really complaining. Okay, but I sort of am because I don't need it in my Star Wars. God damn, this seems like a lot of arse shots. Oh, you mean uh, like... Yeah. Booty shots, like uh, hair up, under, yeah. bang. I thought it last time, and when I was watching this one again, I'm like, oh no, I'm definitely not oh, no, seeing no, things. I, I'm on that, because yeah. when Hera's walking through, uh-huh. it just focuses Hera, for a bit too long. Hera and Sabine, and then they both got, I, might have to start I, with I, white I, feel, pants. I feel pants that are accentuating a little and too. And they white pants as well. And it's yeah, very, I thought, I'm like, I don't need ass no, shots in my Star Wars. No, you don't want No. No, you just got, you almost I, just sold the show to me. <laughs> I, I'm a big fan of... Ramona Flowers, so I don't complain too much. But it's just... I feel like if I'm going... Don't sexualise oh, my Star Wars for yeah, that reason. Yeah, I just don't... Yeah, 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 yeah. absolutely. Oh, yeah. What's, that's a bit I'm not weird. here. They're, they're not the asses we're looking for. I will never complain <laughs> about this with Mario. It's the best sexual like, uh, Star Wars, but Princess Leia. Yeah. It was, yeah, it you do was, it right. It was sexual from the beginning, sort of. But that no, wasn't... Because she was a slave. Get it right. That's right. It was okay because she was a slave. Mm, it's only okay. okay when they're slaves. And she kills the bad guy. But yeah, no, I don't know. Just very, like, you can tell by the angles, right? You know, like you get the Black Widow mm, shot in modern, Avengers modern and you're like, yeah, well, yeah. I don't need this. It's yeah. very that. You're like, mm, okay. lower angle looking a bit mm. up at the ass, and she's right in the middle of frame. I'm like, eh, and the pants are a bit I'll tight. go back and watch and see if what I think. Mm. Yeah. Professional. I'll, I'll do some research. Yeah, research. <laughs> All right. Dylan. I'm not a dirty old man. Sorry. Yes. I was complaining about it. Did you get my research oil? (laughs) (laughs) My film flashback. Nature's own. (laughs) My film flashback uh, (laughs) was Atoman vs. Superman, but we didn't feel like watching four hours hours, (laughs) uh, of stuff. Um... I feel ripped off. I watched an hour of it. <laughs> um, I feel ripped off. I watched an hour of this other one. <laughs> so I, changed, I swapped it over to Superman and the Mole Man. George Reeves, um, essentially the pilot. Dad bod. Pilot for his... Um, dad for the, bod Superman. Don't worry about his dad bod. He's been stung by a bee's face. <laughs> Get that man a shot. That's okay. some good whiskey. Man. Okay, so, so who among us hadn't seen any George Reeves Superman? Uh... I had a feeling. Yeah, me. Seen it for the listeners at home. Pretty sure I've seen well. some, but not like all of it. Oh, sure. I think I've seen most of it. I've got it all on DVD. And, um, yeah, I'm sure you guys might have been a little surprised by how it's like a weird shit it was. crime noir kind mm. of tone and shit. Yeah, punching ladies and. Yeah. Not even that. Just shooting. It's just knocking the sheriff out. I know what the sheriff pulls a gun on the sheriff. Freaking mob mentality. <laughs> gonna, lynch, like, gonna lynch these foreign <laughs> creatures. We'll, we'll give him some lead. He already tried that. Oh, yeah, that didn't work, did it? Bang, 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 bang. Maybe this time he won't yeah. expect it. 
He has seen what Superman can do, but like, no, I'm going to shoot these aliens or these Mormon. That's right. These kids. I have to hang up. I can string this thing up. Um, I've seen I these. understand. <sighs> a- Atom Man vs. Superman is a lot better. <laughs> a lot better. A lot better. Hell of a lot better. Because um, there are bits in the movie where it's like, he can see who it is if he just used x-ray vision. Because he has it in the movie. Like, he sees yeah. the people running up the yeah. street before they turn the corner yeah. and you see him physically. And he has it, yeah, in the other serials and stuff. Yeah. And in the rest of the show. And he also has, like, a laser vision. Does he have heat laser vision in that? I can't remember. No, it's been a while since I've seen I the show. So. Maybe he like... just killed all those people, you I know? Think he had heat Problem vision. Problem. He, yeah, he definitely has a character yeah. had it, but I don't know if they used it. Oh, in the yeah. show. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Maybe like... And why? I think early. No, because no, the Flasher Guards is, I'm sure he had like, heat vision. Yeah, yeah, yeah no, yeah. no, that's what I mean, like in the show. Like, oh. I think, you know, maybe in the colour days, maybe does it come in? Because I don't think it does early. Why is could be wrong. Lois not worried where Clark Kent went for the whole show? She it's doesn't care about Clark Kent. That's the point that's of the right. show. I, I also love how she treats Clark despite the fact that Clark acts exactly the same as Superman. Like, yeah, there's no difference. difference. Yeah, yeah. He's, he's not like, oh, gee, I'm scared or anything. It's like... He he's always like, does this all the time. As soon as shit goes down, he kind of runs away. And, and like, then Superman appears. Yeah. And then he, he sort of... And then he does the nod, nod, nod yeah, yeah. I don't. Th- I think uh, Clark will be okay. Yeah. I brought him no. Lock Superman glasses. brought him to the hospital. <laughs> yes, yes. Every episode of the show would end with a joke like that. Okay. Like, I don't know, Lois, I'm not Superman. Looks at the camera and fucking winks Wink, at the camera. knowing half the battle. And then it fades out. Okay. I guess when your target audience is like 10 year olds. Yeah, yeah. Like, mm. that, like the show yeah. is good. This is not the fucking best best yeah. uh, showcase of a show at all. Um, well, thanks, it, I was, well, thanks for giving it yeah, to us it's, as an example. It's, it's the only um, one that was a movie. Oh, I know. It lacks a it's only black and white thing ever available for everybody. Oh, like, there's not enough yeah, Superman yeah, in there. He's in there for like two minutes. And then there's definitely not enough Superman action. No. He does nothing. Hey! He does some great walking. Hey, carries a digit. It's the best Superman walking I've ever seen. He struggles to pick a guy up by his belt and and, and toss him into another couple of guys. That's the strongest Superman I've ever seen. In in uh, Atom Man vs Superman, yes. first episode, yes. he gets lots of action. He busts through a cave wall. Yep. He freaking flies around. Uh, you like two D animation flying around. Yep. Uh, Out holds the up a bridge. Yep. Lots of cool stuff. Yeah. In there. Well, thanks for telling us no, about all those things we didn't is... get to see. Well, you can do it if you want to watch four hours of this no, series. Probably should have just watched the first hour. We could have talked about that. <laughs> would be an exciting hour. To the show about Superman in this, he's, he's not fighting anything, he's protecting. Yes, yes. yes. I that think... is the Supermaniness of the thing. Yeah, yes. and the whole the conversation that Clark has with the mob. Yeah, right? that was yeah. 100%. Great. That was great. Yeah. yeah. And and the whole fact of it's very much like. Um, oh, what was the movie the other week from the. the... Uh, Day the Episode Deal? Yes. Yeah. Pretty yeah. much that. Like. Yeah. The, the over craziness of the crowds and everyone going stupid about it with the guns where it was more just come come yeah, yeah. Bit. like and he's he nailed it you went into their land they came out you you attacked them straight away like what do you think you're gonna do exactly right yeah. bother to see if it was actual radiation or not mm. exactly right it just looked like it so that's what you went with like and like <laughs> he they attacked the girl like you're playing ball with the girl the mom comes in and yells yes, yes. she's yes. worried because she yeah. saw of course as you would be but yeah everyone was okay yeah that, that scene on the very steps small middle makes, in the, makes the whole movie yeah yeah it's just the pacing yeah and it takes forever to given get that there. that mole man's dead inside the heart like oh, oh when it was burning man. like <laughs> man. No. Especially when the, the the flames are coming up from the floor at the start, yeah, and that's yeah, how yeah. he gets out. Yeah, no, man, you're dead. Yes. He's dead. Uh, you know the there's the episode of The Simpsons. I think it's like nine or season nine or ten, where the kids get snowed in yeah. to the school, yeah. and Skinner's got that terrible Christmas movie where it's yes, yes. yeah. That's what the mole men look like. Those <laughs> weird little um, troll things. Uh, <coughs> Um, yeah, I don't know what else. Like, yeah, there were some good moments talking about how shit humanity is. Mm. Like, most stuff. Like, the dude hiding something in the beginning when he oh, sees yeah. the car. Like, no, there's no payoff on that. No. no. <laughs> like, I thought maybe he stole something from underground and they wanted to come back, get, you know, come and get it. But, like, no, he just yeah. hiding I mean, something. Just, yeah. I just, yeah, just bury all these... 
I do like Lois though. She uh, yeah, she was good. I love good. Lois. Mm. Phyllis Coates. Good fight back too. She yeah. had a, she she took knows how to take a punch and give one too. I forgot good. about that. I forgot that she yeah. was like a bit of uh, smacking people. In the other one, just the Lois is horrible. Yeah, I don't like her. Oh, uh, in the Adam Man one. Yeah, yeah, she's horrible. Um, I think it's Noel Neal. She's horrible. Well, yeah. We were really lucky if that's the case then. Um, this Lois is great. Watch. And I, I think it. Like, you get why. Obviously, it's a pilot and whatever, but it lacks not having the planet. Yeah, yeah, I was really disappointed. Like, about it's that. not, you know, it, it hurts. It. I thought that was interesting too at the start, where it's like he comes from a planet of super people. Yeah, yeah, like, mm, yeah no, no, that's... it's interesting because at the time that was uh, that was the that story? was a Krypton story oh, where right, okay. basically it wasn't Earth Yellow Sun. It was the... no, yeah, on, on Krypton they're more evolved than right. humans, right? Well, that's not so, like... so they're yeah, they're advanced. Uh, Life forms, and that's why Superman's called Man of Tomorrow because he is ah right evolution, right? Yes, but yes, they've just yes. stu- they've just stuck with that name. Yeah, because cool. it's a cool name. Yeah, right. The yeah. fact that it's stuck for so long. Is yeah, pretty, yeah. Like, well, that was yeah. yeah. it's not relevant anymore, but yeah. I still use it. Ratings. It's a tough one yeah. to rate. I feel yeah, because the, um, the show is so much better, and it's just it, it baffles me that they chose. This to the be the show, pilot, okay, so, and yeah. then they decided to let's yeah let's keep let's keep going. Yeah, yeah, and people apparently <laughs> That's a really good call. People apparently liked it enough oh, for yeah. them to do the show. Right, I don't see, know. You, you watch that, you go, appeal. you know what? There's something here. Yeah, we yeah. need to up the action. And let's let's more Superman. Yeah. Superman. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Because the rest of the show, he's fighting mobsters and mad scientists yeah. and stuff like that. And that's the thing, like, there uh, is a good remnants of a show there. It's just the example that we got wasn't great. Yeah, yeah. But it had good moments in it, like showing the stupidness of crowds and everything that happens when... And yeah. be, I think maybe being a theatrical sort of release as well, I think they mm. may have went, tried to go too proper. Mm. You know what I mean? Where the show, once the show goes full, you're like, ah, it's formula. Yeah, yeah. 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 Bad guy, yeah. beat him, yeah. 20 minutes, yeah. next. You know what I mean? Yeah. Cliffhanger. Yeah, 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 yeah. Go more like a radio play, you know? Yeah. yeah. Uh, where this was a bit, ooh, look, and the whole, like the speech is very yeah. higher level. Um, but yeah, it's high, uh, Five. Yeah. Four. Yeah, I'll go five. I'll get a five as well. Hmm. Yeah, I think I'll go five. I love the... Um, at the end, the weapon. He's like, oh, right, right, right. <laughs> <laughs> just just causes the dude pain. Just I him. thought it was from. I you it was saved a... my life. That's more than you deserve. <laughs> I was I going to say from another movie. What's the what? Superman I guess he pulled his punch, but jeez, yeah. I love fucking Golden Age Superman. He's the only version of Superman that could save you and tell tell you to your face. I should have fucking let you shine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I thought it was the from Orgasmo. Can make the me regret this. That's not in black and white by any chance, is it? No. no. Unfortunately not, buddy. I'm probably going to watch um, Atom Man. Oh, I would like to finish it. I, I, yeah, I finished the first one. I'm going to watch the second one. It's so cool. Mm. Lex Luthor's amazing in it. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. I do, I do recommend giving it a look, at least the first yeah. part. At least the first part. Yeah, 20 minutes. Yeah. Cool. And like, the, you know what's cool about that? The... Using the bridge shot. Yeah. Like, yeah. You know, like the famous fucking suspension bridge. Blah. Yeah. Like that's the plot of the first yeah, episode. Also, Les Luthor has a machine that will, you know, Disrupted. destroy this bridge and they use the footage from yeah. it. And like Superman's just uh, holding the bridge to stop, but all he's just, just hugging a wall. Yeah, yeah. Like, Kirk, Kirk Allen Superman is cool. He's great. He's really good. Can I say when he flies in this? Mm. Like, no one notices him flying? He's, he's very he's low. Pretty low. <laughs> you don't yeah. even Throw see him in the sky or anything. He's just, like... just throwing rocks at him, bro. <laughs> he's taking out people's knees. Yeah. Oh, he's that close. Yeah. Oh, I scared ass. What do you got, Dave? Me, Dave. I can't pick, to be honest. What do you mean? This so it might be, a, might be a coin flip. <laughs> Excellent. Oh, okay. You don't have, like, a fucking fucked up D20? <laughs> no. All right. I prepared one earlier. Thank you. You can find the band was called D12. Tails. It's not a band. <coughs> Tails. Tails is Clerks. Oh, yeah. Heads? Heads is Akira Kurosawa's Seven Samurai. Ooh. Very Fuck. different choices <coughs> there, Dave. Okay. Yeah. So, an hour to spend or three hours to spend? <laughs> cool. Which one's three Wait, hours? Which one's three hours? Isn't se- Seven Samurai close to three hours? I don't know. Mm, it'd be longish. It'd be yeah. longish, but not three hours. Okay. Yeah. Either either. Bring it flippy. on. Yeah. Flippy, flippy, flippy. Do it. Okay. What did I say was... 
<laughs> Tails. Clerks. Tails. Heads. Cool. <coughs> it's heads. Ooh. So, seven, Kira Kurosawa's Seven Samurai. Yay! Nice. Cool. Inspiration for... Yeah, no, sorry, Lucas. I was wrong. It's three and a half hours. Okay. Okay. It's not that long. It's, 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 almost, almost, I mean, I, I don't it's, it's almost Atom Man vs. Superman. So you should have stayed with it. Yeah, I should have done just fucking Cool. Okay. Bring it on. Blame the coin. No, I, <laughs> no, no, I've wanted to I, watch it. The only thing that's held me back yeah, was yeah. Yeah, the length. But like knowing it's that this now. is like inspiration for some of Lucas's yeah, stuff. Yeah, everything. Oh, yeah, yeah, a yeah, lot of damn things. I've always wanted to watch more of these yeah, like um, samurai movies and mm. stuff. I was originally going to pick Rand, but that's colour. So mm. That doesn't help. No, it's yeah. not. I'm pretty sure Ryan's not color. No, I, I have it. I looked at it. Okay. I was like, oh. <laughs> I was like, yeah. I was first going to pick something that didn't match the fucking <laughs> brief. <laughs> no, because it was made in... Oh, wait, it was made but in it's his own fault. Thing, but yeah. Anyway. Yeah. I could have redubbed it. Just done a black and white version. Mm. Filmed it on your, on your Android. Director's cut. Yeah. Dave cut. Cool. Sweet. Cool. All, All right. right. Looking forward to it. Yeah. Thank you for joining us this week. Like, comment, subscribe. Thanks for the more teasers from your birthday. Appreciate it. They were tasty. No worries. Thank you, you jackass. Happy birthday. Join Thanks, us dude. again next week for more of this. See you later. Bye. Bye.